Warren has had a vision for a time to update the Amarin Winkler Index. As a plant biologist, um, I'm a huge part of my research program is understanding plant responses to climate change. And when this index, which matches climate and region to cultivar was devised, there was a pretty consistent climate. There was variation, but there's a relatively consistent climate. It's very important for Davis to do this and nobody else. This is Davis's work, his concentration on on heat summation for grapes was Davis's work, and the destiny of Davis is attached to this. It was very important after Prohibition to have done the Amarin, Amarin and Winkler heat summation study to guide growers about what to plant where. And it's even more important today with climate change. In certain places, it's getting warmer. Uh, maybe not every place in the same way. And it's good to, to know how to respond to that if you're identifying certain characteristics in the wine that you want to make and deal with it by changing methods that you use in the winery. With respect to humidity uh, is, is a capacity that will be in this new method because dehydration is taking place. That is changing things in the composition that you have to deal with as a wine. This will be used on a worldwide scale as, as the original one was used on a worldwide scale uh, to give winemakers the opportunity to make better wines, more beautiful wines, and more satisfying wines. We really do need to incorporate more information than just average climate conditions. And we have the capacity to do that now with remote sensing and our understanding of plant physiology, um, plant biochemistry. And so we can incorporate new tools that we have to actually redevelop the index and incorporate a lot more environmental parameters and measure more plant responses too to help the wine industry cope with things like more extreme climate and warmer temperatures.